There are many options for finding information about the tools, commands, and settings in Vectorworks. The majority of these options can be found under the Help menu at the top of the screen. However, there's a few other areas to find helpful information before going into this menu. For the fastest and most basic information on a tool or command, simply hover the cursor over the tool or setting to see the tool tip. On Mac, when hovering the cursor over a tool, a small dialog will appear that will display the name of the tool, the shortcut, and a short description of the tool. On Windows, it will display the name of the tool and the shortcut, and then a description can be displayed by clicking on the small arrow to the left of the tool name, or by holding the Shift key on the keyboard. If a dialog box is visible on screen, the tooltip for each setting will be found at the bottom of the dialog box. As the cursor is over each setting, the tooltip will give a quick description of what each of these settings will affect. The Help menu drop-down in Vectorworks will include a few different options if the machine is Mac or Windows. Let's cover these differences first. On Windows, you'll find two options for Check for Updates and About Vectorworks. On Mac, these two options will be found under the Vectorworks drop-down on the top left. The Check for Updates option will check if there is a new service pack or new version of the software available for download. The About Vectorworks option will open a window where information such as the application version, serial number, and licensed products can be found. On Mac, at the top of the Help menu, there will be a Search option. This search option is built into the Mac operating system and is separate from the Vectorworks Help. The search option can be useful for finding menu commands if you know the name of the command, but it's not going to be helpful in searching through tools or the Help system. The remaining options in the Help menu will be identical across the two platforms. The Getting Started Guides are free guides provided to all Vectorworks users. These guides will discuss different tools, workflows, and projects for all different industries. If you're new to Vectorworks, making a jump from a new version of the software from a much older version, or if you're looking for some basic direction in the software, this is a great place to get started and you should begin here. The next option in the Help menu is to search the Knowledge Base. This will open your web browser to our Knowledge Base directly. The Knowledge Base is a great resource for hardware requirements, hardware recommendations, tech bulletins, known conflicts, and issues with workarounds, and how to generally address different error messages. If you're running into specific errors, looking to update your hardware or operating system, or looking for general information on the technical side of the software, this is the best starting point. The final two items found in the Help menu will be used to find detailed information on tools and commands in Vectorworks. Vectorworks Help and What's This? The Vectorworks Help is the web-based help system that is updated as more tools, commands, and information become available. By selecting the Vectorworks Help in the Help menu, it will open to the main web page of the help system. This can also be accessed at any time in Vectorworks by pressing F1. Since the help system is web-based, it can be accessed on any computer, tablet, or smartphone. The help system will reshape and form to fit the screen you're using. You can also use features in your browser, such as adding help articles as bookmarks. On the left side of the help, there will be four options. The first is the table of contents. The table is used to sort all of the different help topics into specific categories. As an example, the second edition in the table of contents is the new features page. This page will show each of the new features in the new version, and it will include hyperlinks to quickly navigate to help pages on the different new features. The next button on the left, will list all of the different commands and tools in Vectorworks in alphabetical order. By selecting one of these, it will take you directly to the help article on that tool or command. Following all the tools and commands, the third button on the left will be the glossary. This will generally be more generic terms, such as BIM, IFC, NURBS, or plugin object, as opposed to specific tools or commands, and it will give the definition of these terms. The final button on the left is the search function, which can also be found in the top right of the window. In these fields, search for anything you're looking for in Vectorworks. You can search for keywords, tools, commands, or questions. As an example, in the search bar, we'll search for rectangle. On the left side, the search results will appear. Select the article on creating rectangles, and the help article that goes over where to find the tool and all of the modes and settings will come up. When searching for more industry-specific tools, there will be small icons next to the names of the articles. In this example, I've completed a search on site models. Next to the help article name, there's an A and an L. This indicates which versions of Vectorworks the tool is in. If you do not see a letter next to the article, it indicates that the tool or command is available in all versions. A means architect, L means landmark, S means spotlight, and D means designer. In the case of the site model, it would require at least architect or landmark to use or see the tool in Vectorworks. 
Anything that's listed as an A, L, or S is also in Designer, as Designer is the full package of all versions of Vectorworks. If a tool or command such as Export PDF is listed with the letter D, this indicates that it is included in all Designer Series products, Architect, Landmark, and Spotlight. In the top right, under the search, there will be an option to print the page currently being viewed, and then a previous, left, and next, right button to navigate to the next or previous page in the table of contents in the help. In the bottom right of every help page, there will be a link for, was this page helpful? This is a new link in the Vectorworks 2017 help. When this option is selected, a new page will load to provide feedback on the help system. This feedback can include suggestions to make the help page more helpful, positive feedback on the help page, corrections to typos, or to inform us that information on the page might be outdated. Really, any other feedback you'd like to provide on the Vectorworks help can be placed here. The feedback form will automatically populate the field on the page that was being viewed, so we can respond and update the feedback on the page as soon as possible. The final option in the Help dropdown in Vectorworks is the What's This command. As opposed to searching the Help directly for a tool, select the What's This command. The cursor will display with a question mark next to it, and then click on the tool in question. This will launch the Help article on that specific tool directly in the web browser. This is probably the fastest way to use the Vectorworks Help.